Hello everyone, hello from beautiful Guatemala. I'm coming in here to speak with you a little bit about the integration of the mother within us and the way that relates to our leadership capacity and its development, especially for those of us who are women, but also for those of us who are men. Um, that might help you understand a little bit better the women in your life and yourself really because really this uh, energetic imprint of you know the mother that has raised us is part of each of us you know it is the part of us that takes care really of us in whatever way we have encountered that in our childhood um, and you know the way I, I connected with this was you know I just embarked on this exploration of you know, what are my next steps as a leader, as um, a woman that is looking to create something, to contribute to something that is greater than herself with her work and with her life. And, you know, as soon as I had set this intention, <laughs> I noticed, you know, the first thing that came up was just this part of my psyche that was looking to make sure had I bought bread and avocados and you know it was everything set and tidy and ready for this and you know and was I in a place where I would feel safe and cared for and you know and all of this kind of questions started coming up and as, I, as they were coming up and I was just mindfully observing them I realized this was my mom <laughs> that was <laughs> just really <laughs> expressing through me in the way that in some of the ways I have seen her as a child growing up and you know as soon as I saw this there was just this whole you know rabbit hole I went down to you know that had me l really looking at honoring you know all the sacrifice all the care all the love all the you know just just um, yeah life steps that my mother had to taken to raise me as a child and um, you know and all the you know difficult things she had been through in order to do that and I felt you know just so humbled and so honored and so deeply connected with her in that and at the same time as I was realizing you know how big of a part of me she was I couldn't help but ask myself you know what was the relationship between that and my intention which was about leadership and what I found was really fascinating you know it's um, it was this this moment in which I really started asking myself about the way I'm showing up in my life um, both in you know in the community that I've been building with some wonderful people um, in my coaching work in my relationship with my partner and really seeing how you know there's different positions from which i can engage with people i can engage with them as a child i can engage with them as a mother and i can engage with them as a woman and these different states from which i engage create a completely different relationship and I'm not saying this as a way of saying, oh, you should not bring in the mother in those relationships. Quite the contrary, you should, <laughs> um, you know, and we should. But it's just important that we are mindful of when we do so and when it is useful to do so. And when it might be more useful to actually, you know, show up as women and what that might mean. And, um, and I realized that this question is actually very, very important. It is a, really a step in our maturing as women to look at this distinction between showing up as mothers, as children or as women. Um, that is comparable to, you know, this uh, stepped process of growth and development that we you know, we go through as humans. Each of us goes through as humans. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, I was actually <laughs> looking at my belly button the other day and, and relating to this, you know, of how 
you know, it is necessary for our growth, you know, that, uh, you know, this belly button, this connection with the mom at some point after that mom being our entire universe, you know, just emerging out of that and, you know, breaking that bond or part of it that is representing by, you know, the, the belly button that each of us has. Um, in order to grow, in order to step into this next phase of life, in which actually there is, you know, a new way of relating with her, which is, you know, the the sucking out of her breast, you know, as a way of um, continuing to be nourished by her energy, by her presence, by, you know, just her physical ability to to give us food and take care of us. and And the way that in itself as well over time becomes something we need to let go of in order to become this more autonomous being and and I feel that there comes a time in our lives as women where another major step change like this needs to happen um, which is about really recognizing the mother within ourselves that is usually just a copy of this energetic imprint we have received of our own mothers and really seeing that really becoming aware of when am I showing up as a mother in what I'm creating in my relationships with people and when am I showing up as a woman and what is the difference between those two and I don't think there is a straightforward answer to this question um, but, you know, even holding this awareness of it is my intention to show up in relating with this person, in relating with my partner, with my colleague, with someone I'm working with, it is my intention to show up as a woman and to see the woman within them or the man within them and how that changes the energy of your body, the energy of your engagement with them. And, you know, exploring that as opposed to how does it change if I look at this person as a woman, as a mother, actually. And how does it change if I look at them as a child? Because also the child is still part of us as we move forward. Um, but it is, it is only when we start fully seeing when is the space for that child to come? When is the space for that mother to come? And when is the space for the woman to come? And what is the difference between those? That I feel that a big step in our maturing and ripening process as women, as partners, as leaders can occur. And so this is my invitation for those of you who are women to really look into that. And I imagine a similar process might be occurring for men uh, both in relating with their mothers and with their fathers because, you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, how, how did we actually first learn what it's like to be a leader? And, you know, and for those of us who are females, it is very likely that we would take the imprint of leadership from the first leader in our life, which is the mother. <laughs> and, you know, and for men, perhaps it's the father, you know, that, that masculine figure of leadership. And the way we keep on replaying that until we notice it and we take a step back and we're like, yeah, you're welcome. But also, who are those other guys <laughs> that are part of me and how can they be a part of my leadership? So, yeah, that's basically my invitation for you today is to explore this. And I hope it's useful. And if you feel called to look into this with somebody who can hold space for those different energies within you and for their evolution and for their expression and for your full stepping up into your power as a woman or as a man as opposed as to mother or father in the way you relate with others. I would love to speak with you and support you with my coaching work or with the things we do in the playground. So I'm looking forward to connecting around that if this would be helpful to you. And I wish you a wonderful day.